Hi, this is a follow-up video to the video discussing the solution for the question 23 of the January 2016 grade 7-8 contest, which also came up in the grade 9, 10, and 11, 12 contests. So the purpose of this video is to show another even more powerful notation which can solve similar but also much harder problems. So we'll start by summarizing this first video. Now the goal was to identify a wrapping of string around two nails such that the picture would fall down whether you pulled the first nail, so nail A, or the second nail, so let's say nail B. Now the straightforward way of using an eraser and simulating pulling nail A and pulling nail B was time consuming and required to draw the picture twice. Now the new technique introduced symbols A and B for every time the nails A and B were wrapped around clockwise. So here the string goes clockwise around nail A and clockwise around nail B. And it also introduced the symbols A to the negative 1 and B to the negative 1 for every time the nails A and B were wrapped around counterclockwise. So here when we continue, now nail A is wrapped around counterclockwise and when we continue nail B is wrapped around counterclockwise. So pulling nail A is then equivalent to setting A equals to 1 because it is like there's no string wrapping around that nail at all because you are pulling that nail out. So after A equals 1 this leads to B times B to the power of negative 1 which is then equal to 1 which again is like there's no string even being wrapped around that nail B meaning the picture would then fall down. And likewise, for pulling nail B, we would then set B equals to 1, and what we would then get is A times A to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 1, meaning the picture would then fall down. So this technique is faster, it's more elegant, and it doesn't require a redrawing of the picture. Now, so this reformulation helps investigate when the string is wrapped around many times. Now, what if the question was to identify a wrapping of string around three nails, so let's say nails A, B, and C, such that the picture would fall down whether you pulled nail A, B, or C? Well, you would have to try countless products of A, B, and C, and also their inverses, and you wouldn't even know how long the products would have to be. So that could take a very long time. Therefore, we need another notation which has the potential to do qualitatively new things. So let's introduce this abbreviation A comma B in brackets. And this possesses the two properties where when we have A equals to 1, it would be like 1 comma B, which we then know would be equal to 1, meaning the picture would fall down. And it also possesses the other property. When B equals to 1, we would then have A, comma 1, brackets, which we know would also equal 1, meaning the picture would then fall down. So, so far, this use of brackets is just a shorter notation for this A, times b times a to the power of negative 1 and b to the power of negative 1. But this new notation is the key to solving a problem with three or more nails. All right, now let's look at a comma b in brackets comma c. All right, now if we were to replace a or B by 1, well then from our assumptions we know that this inner bracket would be equal to 1. It would simplify to 1. And after that we would then have 1 comma C. And from here we know that that would then also simplify to 1. Now what this just means is that if you were to pull nail A or pull nail B, the picture would fall down. Now if we were to replace C by 1, which is like pulling nail C, well, then we would have whatever this is inside the inner brackets, so we have something, comma, 1, which here we can see also simplifies to 1, which means that the, this picture would fall down whether you pulled 
nail A, B, or C. So what this represents is a wrapping of string around three nails. Now similarly, if we were to add a bracket like this, comma D, then this represents a wrapping of string around four nails like A, B, C, and D, such that the picture would fall down whether you pulled nail A or nail B or nail C or nail D. All right, now let's prove by induction that this works for any number of nails. Now this has two steps. First is the induction base. And we had already showed this before, is the A comma B. This is just for a small number of nails. And this represents a wrapping of string around two nails such that the picture would fall down whether you pulled nail A or nail B. And now the second part is the induction step where we have to assume that we have N nails, so N minus one nested brackets. This is how it would look like. Okay. Now let's assume that we have n nails here, so n minus one nested brackets. Now we need to, from our assumptions, we assume that these brackets simplify to one when you replace any of these variables by one. So now we need to show that if we had another bracket, so like this and then comma Q, that this represents a wrapping around n plus one nails such that the picture would fall down if you pulled any of those n plus one nails. All right, now when you replace the variables like a, b to p by one, well then we have that whole inner bracket which is then equal to one. And what we would then have is one comma Q. And we know that that would simplify to one, meaning the picture would fall down if any of those nails were pulled. But now if we were to replace Q by one, meaning we would pull nail Q, that M plus one nail, well then we would have something, whatever is in the inner brackets, comma one. And from here we know that that would also simplify to one, meaning the picture would fall down. All right, so this completes the proof by induction that n minus one brackets for n variables represents a wrapping around n nails, such that the picture would fall down if any of those nails were pulled. Now, what we learn is that new notations not only save time, but also allow us to solve new and much harder problems. So we learn new mathematics. All right, now let's construct a drawing for three nails and see what it would look like. And from here we know it would be a comma b in brackets comma c. Okay, so we must write the first element which is a comma b. And then we have the second element, which is here, C. And then we must have something here that multiplies by this equals to 1, which means we must have the inverse of the first element and the second element. Well, the inverse of this first element is just a comma b in brackets to the power of negative 1. And then we have C to the power of negative 1. Alright, now we know a comma b in brackets from here is just a, b, a to the negative 1, and b to the negative 1. And then what we have is c. Now we need something multiplying by this, which would give 1, so we need to start cancelling. So to cancel b to the power of negative 1, we would just need to write 
b. And then for a to the power of negative 1, we would just write a. For b, we would then have b to the power of negative 1. And for a, we would have a to the power of negative 1. And then we know we still have c to the power of negative 1. All right, now let's draw this. Okay, so we start off with A, B, which means that we are going clockwise around nail A and B. Then after we have A to the power of negative 1, which means that we are going counterclockwise around nail A. And then we have B to the power of negative 1, meaning we are going counterclockwise around B. After that, we then have C. And then after C, we then have B and then A, meaning we go clockwise around B and A. And then after that, we then have b to the power of negative 1, which means we're going counterclockwise. And then we have a to the power of negative 1. And then finally, we have c to the power of negative 1, meaning we are going counterclockwise, and then we are done. Okay, so now let's pick a random nail. We want to see that this works for pulling any nail. So let's pull a random nail, let's say nail B, since it's right in the middle. Okay, well here we have this loop here, which continues to go along here and here. So we can just draw it like this. We can simplify. Okay, and then next, here the next inner loop is then here, so what we can do is just draw, just make that connection and then erase this. Okay, and now next we have this loop here meaning we can just draw a line like this. Okay, and then what we have is this big loop here, which continues like this. So we will just draw or simplify like this. Now we can erase this like this and just draw a straight line, which we have before. And now we can see that there is no string above this nail A, so we will just erase this nail A. Now all we have is string which goes around nail C. Okay. Now let's look at this loop here. So this continues over here, and then it goes above like this. And then it continues like this, so we will just simplify like this. So we will erase this part.
And then as we can see, all we have is just this string, which isn't wrapped around any nail, A, B, or C, meaning that the picture would fall down. All right, now we show that this reformulation of A comma B in brackets, comma C without the D, which is actually shown here, this is a good representation for a wrapping around these three nails. All right, now with this video, we show that mathematics is much more than just computations. By introducing a new notation and new rules on how to work with this new notation, it allowed us to solve different and much harder problems. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributest.com.